Before we get into today's video, boys, I just want to say I'm so thankful for every single last one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support on the main channel and on the second channel. You guys have been killing the second channel as well. Today, you already know what we're going to be doing, okay? By the title of this video, you guys know a lot of, I want to say bad decisions, but actually, no, it's actually a good video. Isn't it better it. choices? Yeah, because we're actually upgrading today. We're doing something that's actually going to help the car. Have you guys ever seen me in an all black fit like this? Just know that we're going to be getting down and free dirty as bad as that sounds it's the truth working on the car today the GTI Yay! has finally made its way into the garage all right it hasn't been in here in months last time I was in here it was getting wrapped and it's been outside ever since it's been neglected you guys have been asking me where the hell the GTI has been and listen I'm gonna be honest with you guys the last video we did we went out and we took the GTI out but the video before that we were supposedly fixing the alignment fixing our tire issue thought I fixed it thought everything was good it went terrible the car has just been wearing tires, so I haven't been driving it. I haven't been able to do the content that I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time for something new. We got one box. Hold on. What's in there? Hold on. Washers? Don't get too excited, Steph. I know. I know. I know. This is a big deal. Is that a fuel cell in there? Absolutely not. It should be, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, steering wheel? What the hell is this? Oh, Whoa, careful now. Wait, wait, wait. That's littering. As you guys can see, we have the best of the best brake pads. The best of the best. Not sponsored. Those are probably ass. I don't even know what those are. Then we got that is shiny. some rotors. Wow. I don't even know if these are going to work. I don't even know if these are the same size. I don't even. Hey, listen, th listen. I know how to do the tilt, but maintenance, okay? <sighs> Maintenance is just something I never, you know, got around to. That's why we got a Tesla. We don't got to do no maintenance. We just flip tires and that's it. That was not supposed to yeah. be dropped like that. Yeah. Then what else do we have? Are you going to spray paint it pink? No, nah, that's my caliber. We didn't get new calibers. Those were way too expensive. Then we got new adapters, all right? Now, the reason I'm doing all this is because the alignment is not the issue with the GTI. I've come to the conclusion that it just can't be the alignment. For the way that... They packed it good. Must be quality in there. Ugh. For the tires to be wearing as bad as they are, it can't be the alignment. I was like, you know what? Before we go down and tilt, this is the final thing we're doing. We're going to replace the rotors, the brake pads, tie rods, because they're all seized. I'm going to show you guys some B-roll of that so you guys can see how bad they actually look. It looks disgusting, all right? It looks terrible. So I was like, I've been getting a little bit of vibration, and the rear never gave me an issue. Like, the rear tires never gave me a problem. The rear arms never gave me a problem. Everything is, like, practically new in the rear. I was like, you know what? It's time to just replace everything in the front and hope that solves the issues i want to go down and tilt at this point because it's costing a lot of freaking money to drive this car as it is but i just love this setup like come on bro like look at this like yeah it's beautiful right so i don't want to go down and tilt just yet if i don't have to so i was like you know what i'd rather replace everything on the gti up front and then if that doesn't solve the issue then i'll have no choice you know you're basically rebuilding the gti not rebuilding it we're <laughs> just doing some maintenance that we should have been done because like everything in the front is just rusted and nasty and like doesn't look good and that's probably why it rides the way it rides you guys tell me all the time like where is it where is it and trust me like i'm not giving up on this car a lot of people think that ever since i got the tesla i just gave up on the gti but i promise you guys that's not it so today i put on my instagram a little q a thing so you guys were able to ask me a bunch of questions so as we go on and install this stephanie will just be asking me a bunch of questions that you guys left what questions do you think we're gonna be getting i don't know they were trolling talking about me being a midget oh and my God. hopefully they're good questions my alignment's gonna be chopped after this mm. i thought about that so we're probably gonna go with our eyeball again it's gonna just completely throw away the fact that we went to the, oh. eye, to the alignment shop that video was pointless oh my God. but yo when i tell you guys the tesla has been lasting so long the tire life on there it can't be the eye bro listen come here come here sir. These eyeballs right here, believe it or not, like, bro, they've been doing the Tesla just right. So, if the Tesla could last 1,500 miles with negative 12 on one side, then the GTI should be able to last over 50 miles with negative 20. 50 miles is crazy. Tell them you went to Jersey, Georgia. Jersey, back, Atlanta, back, and drove around here. Tires have been lasting just fine. When I tell y'all these eyeballs, bro, they're actually good, all right? All y'all keep telling me to go to a different alignment shop and all that shit. The GTI is going to be eyeballed straight and it's going to work. Something is going to have to work because if this doesn't work, negative five we go oh. to. 
GG's, oh it's over. The only thing we didn't get is the uh, lowers. We didn't get the lowers. The bushings seemed fine. I'm gonna show you guys that. The bushings seemed fine, so I didn't wanna replace any bushings if I didn't need to. But the tie rods and the spacers, they look chopped. It's they look supposed fucking... to be that long. That was... I didn't shorten mine, so I think they are supposed to be this long. Hopefully this works. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Subscribe, because this is gonna be a banger. What the hell? Is this supposed to look like this? What? It looks used. What the f That's used. Do you see what happens whenever what? I, bro. Hopefully it works. That's all I can pray for. What's this nigga doing here? This video does uh, over 2,000 likes. We'll put his jet on the floor. It's good. Oh my God. Can y'all tell them that there's no females watching this video right now? Does that look good though? What are you here for? I came to give you your friend. Oh, this is going to the GTI right here. Holla at me. I'm surprised I didn't lose these by now. I've been just not driving this car. Keys have just been getting used. So whenever I got to move it from the garage to outside, these should have been misplaced by now, but it's God's plan, you see? I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna back it up so that you could ride on wood. Yeah. Do you need to? Yeah. I'm not that high. That's like kind of disrespectful stuff. Uh, no, no, because I thought you had the jack points like mine. Get the cold start. Wait, wait, wait! Don't do it yet. See if it flies off. Go. <laughs> Jack doesn't fail, we're fine. This is good. We got a question that says, What got you into stance? So, like, what got you to lower your car and add a camber? Honestly, I don't even know. I guess just seeing stance cars, honestly. Seeing a stance car for the first time, seeing how aggressive the car looked, and then it was wraps after that. Wow, I'm so bad at this. What age would you say you started? I think it was like, what, 15? Damn. 15 or 16, I seen my first stance car. And then I was just like, Yeah, I want big tilt. And then I was like, Yeah, I can't afford it. It took me hella long to actually build a car how I wanted to. Poor GTI, so neglected. Look at these. These things are done. New so spacers. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look how this one is wearing. This is literally one drive. We went home that day from the shop when we got the alignment done. And it drove nice. Drove calm. I was like, you know what? I think we fixed it. I think we got it. Tires weren't hot or nothing. Went to the show, which was 25 miles. 25 miles back. You see that right there? How it's like smoothening right there? That should not be doing that. So... Time for something new. Time for all this. You see this? No more washers. All this rust. No more rust. All right, what are we taking off first? Let's take off the easy stuff first, all right? These look brand new, but I'm not sure if they're brand new or not. This wasn't the wheel that was wobbling, was it? Or was it the other one? I think it was this one and that one. So I don't even know if this one needs a new spacer, but we're gonna replace everything since we already have it. Boom. That looks clean. Did I just order spacers? Did I already have adapters? I don't, I don't know. These look brand new. They do, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't know about this. Oh. See that? One of the nuts broke in the back. Hit a bump and it just falls off while you're driving. It's amazing, right? Oh. Pink on the front, red on the back. Oh, so you had red originally? These are like the exact same thing. That's what I'm switching to. These look way bigger though. These honestly look like the cords. It's a big difference there. Give this video a like, comment down below, see you guys in the next one. That's nice. That's great. They're not bad. I could reuse these. But damn, those brakes were useless. So they gave me used brakes and the wrong ones? I looked them up online and they were for this car. I'm gonna reuse these ones. Thing is, if they're bad, then it'll mess up the rotor. My ears. Yo, I'm bugging. We don't got no jack stands under here. I just want to put some under the car at least so I can have some leverage. I don't want to pull the car down with me. Your wheels no. Yeah. Yeah, let's put the let's put the three piece under the car. Why not? It's not gonna do nothing. Just do it. Let's let's put it under. These lowers are chopped. I think I should have replaced them too. Axles I think are fine. I don't really have any axle bind. Smart K. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The bolt was tight as hell. How can you take it off? I don't know. It's GG's for that. I'm gonna just have to get a new one of these, whatever this is. Okay. Bracket. Let me try to get it out. One eternity later. As you guys know, two things can never go right back to back. Stephanie, she ended up getting that bolt off that snapped inside. She ended up getting it off. W's, all right, W's. But then, this damn key right here, it's straight stuff. Yeah, it's probably it's, a different type of key. It's done. So, what does that mean, Steph? That means, here we go, poor decisions. Last resort. Yeah, we'll be here all day. What is your biggest regret, car related? Biggest regret? That's a good question. 
Biggest regret, not taking my time with my first car, my pink Mark V. Probably my pink Mark V, yeah. I feel like everything else along the way was like a learning lesson, but I feel like that car and my blue Accord was probably the only two cars that I kind of like rushed and never took my time with. GTI and the Tesla, I've been taking my time a lot more and they came out a lot better. I think that would be my biggest regret. I'm gonna take this off and never put it back on. I think it's like a dust shield. I don't know. I don't wanna get flamed in the comments. Tie rods have to come out now. However, I don't know how the hell we gonna get these tie rods out. Yeah. But how am I gonna fit it in there? The control arm is right there. Gee, geez, man. Gee, f***ing geez. Do the rotors even fit? Why does it say rear driver side? Rear passenger side. Oh, these are shorter, Dante. These are small, right? Compared to the ones you had. And maybe that's why these are smaller, the brake pads. Will these even fit? Well, they're definitely smaller. Perfect. I wonder if that's gonna f with the car. Or do you think since it says rear side, that's why it's smaller? Oh, they said rears. That's what it says. It says That's probably rear. what it is. They said rears. Because I think my rear calibers are smaller. My rear brake pads are smaller. Oh, so they sent everything rear. Yep. They sent rears. Nice! Can I use rear rotors on a f I don't know if I could do that. I gotta make a phone call. Yo, uh, quick question real quick. I'm working on my GTI right now. Instead of them sending me front brake pads and front rotors, they sent me rear brake pads and rear rotors. Can I still use that for the front? No, it's two different sizes. One will fit in the diameter. And the rear ones are shaped different than the fronts. Yeah, those are rear rotors. I never heard about running rear rotors in the front. You think I should just try if it doesn't work, GG's? Do the pads fit on it? Yeah. You right now, you have the standard GTI, so your rotors are smaller than mine. Now you're going smaller than smaller. Oh, so should I just send it or no? <sighs> yeah. If my wheel goes flying off or something, it's on here. Wait, but hold on. How are we going to get the tie rods off, though? We're always getting dark. I still don't got the tie rods off. I'm convinced the way this car is made, it's like nothing is meant to be taken off. Fuck, step. Hi, I was wondering if you guys had front rotors and brakes for a Mark 7 GTI. 2017 Volkswagen GTI. You have those in stock? Yeah, I have them in stock. The thing I always wanted is the bigger one, you're looking at one of eight each. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'll be there in a second. Make my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Sheesh, big oh, boy. Oh, stay outside. Park next to him. No. We're here. We're back. Nothing got done yet. I don't know what it's telling me to do. The bushing looks fine, right? This for the lower. See it? Inside? And maybe it is good. I don't know. You ever just get something you just don't know anything, like how to use it at all? That's me. Maybe just try to put it together, see how it works. I don't think this is going to spin because it's... It's seized. GG's. This ain't coming off. Oh, nice. Now these tie rods are showing how trash they are. This tie rod is chopped, stamped. I don't even know what to do at this point. So, uh, are we gonna have to do it, Steph? I don't wanna do it. The grinder? I don't wanna do it. Keep twisting. No, I'm not doing it. Just get in the grinder. Make sure you don't cut no gas lines, brake lines, anything. Yeah, my brake lines are right here. There's no reason why we should have had to cut anything today. I think this is just going to save me a lot of time, a lot of stress. It's not going to take long, but the time that it does take, it's going to be a painful time. It's Sparks just, everywhere. I literally hate cutting, but... Just think of spinning. Would you rather spin it or cut it? I would rather. There you go. Cut yeah. it. Let's go. Let's get it. Well, yeah, used to be dirty. Uh, now I brought Hermes. Uh, yeah, got a new Maybach. Uh, yeah, the one with the curtain. Oh, yeah. That was a clean cut. Oh man. We're not going back now. Tie rods are gone. This don't come out. GTI is gonna be sitting like this forever. This is such a good sight seeing you work on the car instead of me. After all of Steph's hard work and effort of getting this done by herself, me just sitting back and watching off camera for you guys not to see, I think we got it. Steph, you said it was the right size. I wasn't spinning it though, I got it on. So me and Steph thought we was tripping. We couldn't get this damn tie rod off. We went to the store, we went to AutoZone, we got the right rotors, so we're good now right we got the right nice size good rotors right here right but of course they didn't give us the right tie rod remover tool of course what that basically means is now we cannot get these tie rods off because Volkswagen made us specific is literally so tight inside that like is no other way to remove it unless we have that correct tool they gave us these tools this damn tool did not work not the right size great right amazing just love it man I just love working on cars it's just so much fun I'm trying to think of any other way we can remove it because there's no space for a wrench or a ratchet. There's no space. It's a European car. They don't leave any space. Started off with the wrong brakes, cut the tie rod in half. Now we go to take the actual tie rod off and it doesn't come off. It's great. It's great. 
This is a good question. You gotta think about this one. If you could have any car that you test drove on your YouTube series, which car and why? Damn, that's Jeez. a good ass one. That's tough. I don't even know. Like, there's so many good cars I drove on the channel. Out of all of them, to like pick you, one is crazy. You can take it home, you can drive it, it's yours. My favorite car I think I've ever reviewed was Safe's car a long time ago with the BMW, but his car was manual, so I didn't <laughs> like that aspect of it, but it was my favorite car as far as the build I'm trying to think wow that was a good one that was a question that made me really think man that was a good ass question it had to be either safe or james's car mm. james's car was really dope his car was bad but as far as when i drove it it was super calm because it was bad but it still had the tilt it still had the color it still had like the super like crazy aspect of it like super looking like crazy just like really extreme looking car but it was really calm when i drove it this one says you personally which car has the most attachment to you the gti the tesla i love all my cars i love the tesla i love the gti like i don't plan on ever selling them these are good questions i do love the tesla more at the moment because it drives way better and it, like i could actually drive it a lot more i don't know gti i've been through a lot gti brought us up on youtube like hella bro i love this car yo as much as i hate this fucking car right now at this moment as much <laughs> as I, I love this car this is probably my favorite out of all my cars Taking two days on something like this is actually insane, right? It's supposed to be one, two, three. It turned into two days now. Hopefully we get done today. I went to AutoZone and I got this tool, right? I don't know if it's the right tool, but the dude sat there for like 20 minutes and helped me find it. So hopefully it works, right? It looks like a flare. What is this? Like, what is this? Come off, tie rod. Come off. Time to leave and exit the GTI. I think it's too big. Take him away downtown, walking fast. W AutoZone, is it gonna work, Steph? Look at Steph getting shit done. I'm not giving up. I just don't wanna hurt myself like you have. I've been hurt enough today and yesterday, so um, I think this is all you. You got it. A few moments later. After three days, three days, is it three? No, two, two days. days. After two days, after it being cut, we sparked the stream. Shout out to my niggas in the stream right now, okay? Helped us out. We got it off. Almost chopped my hand off in half, but it is what it is. It's off, you feel me? W's for this tool, and who, W's who, for the niggas in the chat right now. Who told you to get that tool? You did. Okay. Thank you, Steph. No problem. Thank you so much. You know, what would I do without you? Anytime. I say it all the time, right? You know, it's like... Anytime. Now we know because we used double extension. I double extension is crazy. Yeah. Sketchy as f***, but it works. Too long, I'm floating in and out of consciousness and they saying I'm back. I agree with that. I just take my... Here we go. Imagine we got a lemon right first try without even having oh. to eyeball it yet. It's, it's raised, so I don't think it counts yet until you lower it. Until I lower it, right? I mean, it looks good right It looks there. straight right now. That's Mint? Tight. That's tight. That's it's towed in crazy. That's all it is though. So we did I a good job. We did a good job. Pre L eyeball. Like. That went out easy. How did that feel? That felt good. New tie rods, felt like a whole new car. Now you're outside. We did the little eyeball alignment off camera. I don't know how it looks. Let me see. What do you think, Steph? The alignment? Yeah. Uh, it's a little towed out. Out? A little tiny bit. It looks pretty straight. Damn, we nailed this. This one looks straight. This one looks perfect, right? I don't this know, one. I always do this side perfect, and that side is always the messed up side. This side looks like zero toe. I thought I would have to do more work today. This is day three. Oof. Oh my god. But today it doesn't count because we didn't really do anything. We just pulled it out. Damn, this video started off crazy. Wrong rotors, wrong brakes. Couldn't get the tie rod right off. It was a whole freaking mission. But now we got everything right. Pull it out. I mean, I couldn't really tell. It looks good. That's all that matters, right? I gotta clean this up a little bit because it's still showing the little rust a little. Other than that, rotors. brand new rotors. I think it should be fine on these brake pads. This side looks clean. You can see in here, super clean in there, you know. Brand new, brand new spacers, brand new everything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. You guys asked so many good questions. It was a bunch. We only did about like five of them. We have a bunch left over, so we could honestly do this again if you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, we still gotta do the rears. If the fronts are good, honestly, I, I can give a about those rear rotors. I don't Terrible. As long as these tires last, that's, that's the mission. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down in the comment section below. Just pray it works, man. That's it. At this point, you just pray. We got a dope video planned with Stephanie. That's why we had to get this GTI back on the road this week. One way or another, the GTI is going to be outside. All right. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's banger.
Peace. What did you sell him that he gave you that much money? I think if I you, told YouTube, you... they would probably look at me like I'm crazy. I told you this was from Ghost's nuts. Kids. His kids. It wasn't a drug deal, okay? It's a semen deal. I don't think this is gonna make the video. How much do you think yours is worth? This question says. Oh! GG's. Does it look like I'm ready to get shit done? Yes.